You decide to go ahead and file your own medical malpractice case and you've gotten through the process and now all of a sudden what has happened is the defense has raised some type of motion to get your case dismissed. The judge hears the arguments from you and the arguments from the other side and comes to a conclusion that the case needs to be dismissed with prejudice. Now you want to start over. You want to now go and hire an attorney. The question now is, if you hire an attorney, do you get a second shot at everything under these set of facts? Want to know the answer? Stay with me as I share with you this very important information. Hello guys, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm a childbirth and medical malpractice attorney practicing law here in the state of Maryland. And I would like to talk with you today quickly about that question. The scenario that I just gave you, you're representing yourself and throughout this process, you make some mistakes. And based on these the mistakes, the defense, they jump on it and they file motions to ask your case to essentially be dismissed and you not be allowed to bring your case. You then go and you hire an attorney to try to help you or you're thinking that if you get an attorney now, can you start the process over? Will you be able to go forward after the case has been dismissed with prejudice? Well, the short answer is this. In general, no, you will not be able to go forward. Sometimes we have individuals that contact us in situations like this or they're asking questions that if they try to represent themselves and something happens, can they then come back and hire an attorney? If you've had an opportunity to watch some of our other educational videos and read some of our other educational articles, you know that in certain instances we will, we will say that, you know what, it might be in your best interest to try to do the case yourself. But for medical malpractice cases and childbirth injury cases, because these cases are so complex, it's probably not going to be a good idea for you to try to handle one of these cases on your own. Remember guys, when you are trying to do a case on your own and you don't have an attorney, Maryland law and the court is still going to assume that you know the law. The court is going to still assume that if you're standing up at that table, you know what you're doing. So in complex cases like this where you have to have medical experts and you need to do depositions and you have to deal with the other side in regards to possible negotiations, it's more than likely going to be in your best interest to go ahead and hire an attorney. Now, why have I taken the time today to talk with you about this? Because I'm trying to give you insight into this process. I'm trying to help you understand what you would have to know if you were going to try to file a Maryland medical malpractice or a childbirth injury case. If you know that, you know what, this is well beyond me, I need to go ahead and talk with someone about this, this is what I invite you to do. And remember guys, it costs you absolutely nothing to take this next action. And that is to go ahead and pick up the phone and give me a call. I can be reached at 301-850-4832. Or if you prefer, go ahead and send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland medical malpractice and childbirth injury questions like yours all the time. And I'll be glad to take some time and listen to your story. All right, that's gonna be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the medical malpractice and childbirth injury attorneys here at Boston Law Group, LLC, and we will see you next time. Guys, take care, and enjoy the rest of your day.